and welcome back to Open Your Eyes. It is a fun Friday and we're about to have some fun venturing off now into our third segment for the morning. Well, there is a big, big, big sale coming up. When I say big sale, I mean some deals sale. It's actually a customer appreciation sale, Belmopan Aggregates and Hardware Store. We've got the reps in. We've got Joseph Penner, who is the assistant manager at Belmopan Aggregates and Hardware. We've got Katrin Penner, and she's the director. And uh, Frank Blatz, who is a sales manager. Guys, good morning good and welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And it's good so morning. nice to have you in. Thank you for having me. Yeah. And I tell everybody this on a Friday. On a Friday, we have this thing called Fun Friday. Uh -huh. So it's either you sing, you dance, or you name that tune. Which do you prefer? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> none of the three. None of the three. So Belmopan uh, Bell Aggregates and Hardware Store, this big sale is coming up. Let's jump on into uh, how did you guys get started? What uh, started the business? When? Anybody, jump on in. Anybody. Well, we uh, we came from the Mennonite community yeah. and um, uh, we wanted to move to Belmopan to kind of for a mission reason, like for the gospel, and yeah. just tell everybody at least we are part of least, you know. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're one of you. We're, we're one of everybody here. Uh -huh. yes, and so we moved to Belmopan and uh, first we were farming. We were just farmers. Okay. Uh, as I was a farmer and then uh, we started looking for farmland in Belmopan. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, he loved farming. Um, they love the, pro the, la the soil that's close to the river. Yeah. This usually gives better crops. Of so course. we started looking for land. We found quite a few properties and we started farming in Belmopan. Okay. Uh, cr doing crops and we found sand and gravel mm -hmm. at the river yeah. right and that's where they ah. got the idea you know we could be during this low season we don't not busy with the farming we could s sell the sand and gravel so they went from house to house like oh. l look for for customers and the same tractor they used for farming they had a little trailer and a little scoop in the back uh, well a little scoop in the back of the tractor yeah. and they start uh, selling sand and gravel so they used the equipment of the for the farming to do the start the business. Yeah. Wow. So and what year was this? We moved to Belmont Pond in 1987. Mm -hmm. okay. So I think it must have been 88, 89, Sun but 89 Ground, yeah. we started. Offici yeah. Officially? Officially the business as Santa Gala started in 89. Okay. okay. Yeah. But yes. that was, of course, before my time. She was one of the first ones. Of <laughs> course, yeah. she and her husband, yeah. Uh, yeah. And Frank Mano Penner. and yeah. Frank Penner. And Levi. Uh, okay. They were the first ones to start in, in 89. Yeah. yeah. And now today's date well received in Belmopan. Yes. Yes. So tell us about the business. Uh, what 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 line are we moving into? Tell us about. Well, this. as she mentioned, as Catherine mentioned, that in the beginning it was mostly uh, sand and gravel, okay. and therefore the name just yeah. started naturally as sand and gravel. Yeah. And uh, so up to two thousand and three. That's when I joined the business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Up to that time, that was the main business was just sun and gravel. Sun and gravel. Uh, we had a little bit of. When I came, I remember we had we sold uh, roofing, roof mm -hmm. sheeting. Mm -hmm. We sold fencing material, mm -hmm. and I believe oxygen. And we had a few lawnmowers in there and a few, few hand tools. That yeah. was it. Yeah. Uh, and I think at that point we had nine staff, I believe. Yeah. Wow. When I came in 2003. Okay. So, but of course, that's a long time ago, 2003. So, <laughs> uh, also, I remember because, of course, we've grown with the community, I yeah. guess. Uh, 2003, when I moved, that's when I moved to Belmopan also. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I remember the sign there entering into Belmopan said, Belmopan population 7,000, I believe it was 7,300 and something. What? <laughs> wow. Yeah. And that was actually going to be my question to Catherine. You know, moving um, into Belmopan, uh, that was the time when it was kind of when it was just getting started. And mm -hmm. so you have seen that entire community grow over this time, and been working with them through the business sector. Mm -hmm. um, when we think of the Mennonite community, we often think of them in Spanish lookout in other areas where uh, it's more concentrated. Mm -hmm. uh, for you, why was it important to move beyond where the community existed? Um, I had seen the matter in the Bible that we are not separated, mm -hmm. and I felt like I needed to be with everyone, right? Yeah. yeah. So my vision was uh, not to, we, I did not go there for business at all. Yeah. But we were self-sufficient missionaries, we could say. Mm -hmm. okay. 
and I just had seen it from little. My, mo my dad was very outgoing. He helped in a lot of um, projects and hurricanes all over Central America. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I also was in uh, Guatemala two months when the, after the, earth the earthquake, that mm -hmm. big earthquake. Yeah. And my parents also helped two months uh, helping in Valley of Peace. We lived there even when and the, the Mennonite community actually did help a lot there. Yeah. And I lived there for two months. And so I was very much exposed to the outside. Mm -hmm. And so to me, that was just something I thought always I had to go to Africa or somewhere mm -hmm. to be what I felt called to be. Yeah. Yeah. But then I was led to be there. So that's what. Yeah. And so you've seen the entire growth of Bamalpan City. Well, from that. Yeah. Basically from 90, yeah. 97. Yeah. yeah. 87, yeah. 87 to present. Yeah. And the business itself has grown over that time. So where you started off just farming, then mm. you moved into sand and gravel, yeah. then you started introducing a bit of hardware here yeah. or there, and then Frank comes on board and Frank says, well, let's do hardware, right? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was very, they had a few little things there, but yeah. it was, mm -hmm. from there on we expanded very much. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, Well, we saw also that that the one thought was also we could see in the long run maybe sand and gravel wouldn't be the one that would sustain yeah. us the business we needed to get more stuff and people kept asking me, don't you have this stuff oh and then we ordered that and yeah. another yeah. customer would come i need this thing and we would go buy it you know yeah. we just grew as people were asking for things we would order them yeah, yeah. excellent no so i i okay sure well um yeah i just wanted to mention that in, two, in uh, 2003 when i came on board i, I believe we had I don't know exactly, but I, I, I believe our sales, overall sales, sand and gravel was about 85% uh, of our s overall sales. Mm -hmm. yeah. And today it's less than 5%. That's more like 3%, I think. Sand and gravel. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Frank, you know, I want, you, you, oh, I want to get you into this. Joseph. Joseph. You, okay, Frank. okay, okay Joseph, Joseph. Yes, yeah. Joseph. So what's the relationship like with, with the folks here in Bamapan? It seems well received. It seemed that uh, you guys, of course, you're homegrown. So what is that relationship like? Uh, with the folks in Bamapan? Um, uh, the relationship is great. Um, I, my parents moved there before I was born. Mm -hmm. um, so I was born uh, in Belize City, but I, was, I lived, grew up in Bamapan, yeah. went to school in Bamapan, um, grew up with Belizeans. Of course. You don't want to um, be Belizean. I don't want to Belizean yeah, too. Yeah, I can yeah. talk real too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, so I grew up um, in the business as it was growing. Yeah. And if you also realize that Bamapan was a capital, and they were trying to raise up the capital, so many people were starting to move to Bell yeah. yeah. Um So there was a lot of construction going on, yeah. um, and that's how the business kind of grew, yeah. along with the growth of Bell mm -hmm. Um But the relationship is great. I mean, I really, I've, I grew in Bell and uh, the relationship with the, with others has been really awesome. Mm, okay. I've never had a problem. Um, with Original Bell Original Bell <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, it is a fun Friday, John, it is. and I, I, I think we, we got a little bit of an inside scoop uh, that this is um, not just any conversation. <laughs> there are some giveaways at State Care if you're not paying attention. So I've been eyeing these drills. These are what we're giving away uh, this morning, right? That's right. Yeah, okay, tell me what we have here. Well, the first one, the top one here is a Dewalt drill. Well, all of these are Dewalt, of course. Um, yeah. okay. Dewalt today is one of our strong... Strong lines. brand, yes. yes. I thought they were uh, gifts. Actually, to the, <laughs> to the point where we, I pride ourselves, we pride ourselves very much in that we have, if you want good prices on tools, you got to come to Bowman Panagrisson Harbor. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I even I tell some people if you bought a Dewalt in Belize and you didn't buy it with us, then you probably paid too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, is it really is That's that big that big of a difference? And most uh, items, and I, we guarantee, and uh, on Dewalt especially, we guarantee our prices that if you find any price in Belize, anywhere in the country, cheaper than us, bring us the quote and we'll beat that price. Oh, really? wow. On Dewalt, okay. yes. Okay. Um, really? So that's an 8M drill, and that's a Dewalt. Um, I'd just like to back up a little bit, if I may. Yeah, yes. you should, um, you should. In, in around 2005, there around... And in the whole country of Belize, there were a lot of cheap tool, tools being sold, mm -hmm. cheap brands. Uh, then we found around after 2005 and on that somehow, which I'm very happy for, but the, the idea changed. Mm -hmm. People don't want to pay. From there on, people didn't want to buy cheap tools anymore, especially yeah. le electrical tools. Yeah. So yeah. Because it should we, be an investment. We totally stopped yeah. selling cheap brands, non-brand yeah. tools. Like, I mean, you'd pay 
what, $150 for a cheap drill that has no name? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one sells, that's an 8 amp D wall that sells every day, retail price for $249. Mm -hmm. uh, but the of key course, is it's supposed sale, to last you longer. It's supposed to last. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's an investment. So, yeah. so when you talk about D-Wall, it's an investment. Yeah. So yes. because we've got the sale coming on, a price like that would be... During the sale, that drill is selling for $149. Wait, wait, wait. What? So wait, wait. Yes. So the regular price for it is what? That drill is $249 regular. And it's $100 off for your sales day? Yes. Wow. For three days, though. Three yes. Days, yeah. But even, even the $249, I doubt... in I, our giveaway online, by the way. Yeah. Even the $249, I don't think you'll find anywhere cheaper than that during regular. Mm. Okay. Uh, All right. This so grinder here's here. here's the thing. I'm a little bit uh, disappointed because I'm not eligible for the competition. Uh, <laughs> yes. The grinder sells every day at $199. You can hold it up. Yeah, that's what folks know. Yeah. 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 Sells every day at $199. Uh, during the sale, we sell this at 149 also. Mm -hmm. 149, yeah, give it back. You can take this one and uh, this one sells 150 every day. That's the sander. Yeah. Uh, and then we have the upgrade to this, which sells for 175, which at, during the sale will be at 125. Wow. Okay. Wow. So just that gives you a little bit of idea of what we do yeah. during the sale. So I tell you what, there are a lot of dads out there who love themselves. Some there are lots of people yeah, lots out of there people. who like yeah. their tools. Thank you so very much. Thank Mar. you. Because yes, yes, I'm, yes. I'm, I'm eyeing the and drill. She's eyeing the drill. <laughs> <laughs> so, but there are a lot of people out there who really would love a drill. And uh, basically, this one is a hundred dollars off right uh, for during the sale, during the which sale. is next weekend. Yeah. Yes, hundred dollars off. Mm -hmm. Get your early Christmas gift, people. Yeah. All right. So as I said, I wanted to get that in there. It is Fun Friday. You guys brought some fun by being able to give us some giveaways for Pretty our big viewers. Giveaways. So there are going to be some questions that you got to look out for uh, based on this conversation here, right? right? Mm. And so uh, one of the things I wanted to get at was just how you dis why you decided decided to put together this sale. Yeah. I mean, there's customer appreciation day. You guys are going three days and really discounted prices. Right. Well, the whole idea started, um, We I think we mentioned this earlier, but in 2008, we had a big change in the company. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, of course, 2004 is when I, or 2003 is when I came on board and we started adding on, adding on. But yeah. uh, by 2008, we were overcrowded in the small building that we had yeah. originally. Yeah. And then in 2008, we ex extended the business tremendously. Yeah. Uh, we started also in 2008, we started importing most of our own stuff. Yeah. Uh, and so that year we had a grand reopening sale when we opened mm -hmm. the new part. And that's when you became? That's when we became known as Belmont Pond Aggregates and Hardware. Okay. We knew, we realized that uh, we had, every day we had customers walking in that would say, well, they came in and they're like, oh, I didn't know you sold anything else but sun and gravel. I thought we, we thought you just sold sun and gravel. Yeah. Because you were still called sun and gravel then. Right. Yeah. And so yeah. we realized there was a need to change the name. Yeah. And uh, of course we still did aggregates, but so uh, therefore the change to Belmont on aggregates and hardware. Oh mm -hmm. And then we had a reopening that year and then the following year. Um, so uh, our customers of course appreciated the sale and then uh, we realized this is something we'd like to do. And of course, as you see those prices. Wait, I know we can't get John uh, back yeah, into yeah, the conversation no, I'm, I'm now. Sorry, He's just looking at the deals. <laughs> I'm yeah. sorry. Um, <laughs> he heard hundred dollars off. Now he wants to know everything. <laughs> Look, I tell you what. Not only a hundred dollars oh. off here. I'm looking at an item. Uh, I saw an item a while ago, somewhere around five hundred dollars off. That's what I'm yes. seeing as we speak. There's Your a number generators of are twenty percent off. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's well, some there's the first generator there, the Generac, which is a big brand for us. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and most people are familiar with. Generac by now, it's an American mm -hmm. company. Mm -hmm. uh, so with our out black kid outages, black kid mm -hmm. outages. You know, I'll tell you what, I, I just want to make mention of this one. This is a DCK uh, no, toolkit with, with yeah, 20 volts, it's max, yeah. and, and you know, and it was actually 1,595. No, it's actually 1,095, $500 off. Yeah. Oh my God. On the first page there, you see this one, the 12 inch sliding miter saw. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't checked lately, but uh, they, some of the, they will sell for around, I've seen prices up to 2000 or $2,000 mm -hmm. for them. We normally sell it at sixteen ninety five. Mm -hmm. It'll be at fifteen ninety five during the sale, but then you get- You that, get two drills you free? You get the tool kit, which normally sells for six ninety five. you get that free. What? When you buy the saw, yeah. Okay, yes. all right, so this is some, yeah. I mean, you have up to 50% discount on some of your items, cashback coupons, mm -hmm. and even a raffle. 
Yeah. yeah. What are this you asking? This is just the beginning of the giveaways. We I have know. Have giveaways. So uh, we're going to be giving this away on our social media platforms. You can look out for that. As I said, it's going to be based on this conversation. Yeah. Um, but the, the sale is coming up. It's going to be three days. Tell yes. us about it. Uh, yeah, so the sale is three days. Start, it starts um, on next week, Thursday, mm -hmm. October 10th. Mm -hmm. um, and like we said, we started this sale in 2009, um, kind of a way to give back to our customers because yeah. we have a lot of customers. Um, and we have this sale to kind of give back because we have, we have a lot of contractors, yeah. a lot of customers, and now that they can purchase um, items at a wholesale price because yeah. um, 20% is the regular discount for wholesalers to buy wholesale from us. Mm -hmm. Um, so we have the sale October 10th, um, and it's coming up. And like we said, we have this flyer. Mm -hmm. um, it's on our Facebook page, so if you want to look at all the deals, yeah. um, it's on our Facebook page, and we've been handing out all these flyers, trying to reach out to everyone about yeah. the sale coming up. And it's going to be three days, three right? Three days. Well, two and a half. Well, Saturday we open half day. Half okay. We close okay. at 1 o'clock. So, yeah. The okay. 10th, 11th, and the 12th. And the yeah. 12th, yes. Right. Um, yeah. So what we also have is... Um, so with every, every, if someone just purchases an item, I uh, will give free food. Um, it comes with a purchase. You have to yeah, purchase yeah. an item from our store. Okay. Um, so there's free food. Uh, I think we're also going to have donuts there. Um, <laughs> donuts for purchasing customers. Um, and also every time you purchase, if you purchase something, uh, you get a cash back coupon. Mm -hmm. um, and how that cash back coupon works is um, you, you, when you just draw out of a bucket. So you can get it from $5, $20, uh, I think up to 50. There's a few, yeah. 50, 100, there's a few. So later on, after the sale, you can come back and you can use those coupons to buy um, items in, in the store. store. Um, so that's one of the give, giveaways. Kind so, of as back. so as long as you make that purchase, you get a chance to put your hand in the, in, in the barrel. Take money out. And then you pull out. Yeah. Oh my well, God. There, um, <laughs> there's a little, like, just to clarify a little bit. Yeah. Uh, the raffle is, you get a raffle ticket for every purchase you do. Mm -hmm. yeah. The cash back, the way that works, uh, Jacob, as uh, Joseph said, is that uh, for every hundred dollars you spend, you get one. So uh, let's say you buy an item, let's say you buy that generator there, twelve thousand seven hundred ninety-five yeah. dollars. Mm -hmm. That would mean you get one hundred twenty-seven. Yes. One hundred twenty-seven. You draws. pick one hundred twenty-seven draws out of the bucket, the cash back coupon draw. Holy guy! Now, wow. as Joseph said, the majority of them are two-dollar bills in there. Yeah. yeah. There's a bunch of fives and tens, twenties, and then there's a few fifties, there and there's a few hundreds. Oh, okay. And so. So for every hundred dollars, you get one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So on top of the prices, cash back coupon. So you get about it's about a, an average is to about three percent back. I'd say you're showing a lot of appreciation here. Yeah. Yeah. So of course, yeah, as you see with the cash back and with all the raffles we do, and, yeah. and plus the and prices free food? and the prices. Uh, that day, it's yeah. not for me for us to make money. That yeah. day, we. Uh, that's, uh, yeah. that's an customer appreciation indeed. Yeah, the prices you see is yeah. I don't make money that day, but it's to give back to the. How, how do you move to th three days or two and a half days of sale? Most people just kind of do it on one. Well, is it considering the people who are traveling to Bamapan? Yes, we have customers from all over the country. Yeah. Yeah. And our first year, we did just Friday and Saturday, mm -hmm. but we realized some customers couldn't make it, and so we said, well. Well, let's, do two and half days. let's do two and a half days. Let's do two and a half days. Saturdays for those that don't work so they can have time to come to the store mm -hmm. and okay. also participate in the sale. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And this is the weekend whereby a lot of people flock to different places. So it's actually to save your money and go and get all these deals, right? Mm -hmm. And Friday, uh, Thursday is busy usually. So mm. uh, if you want some, if you really want something, yeah. I mean, customers, yeah. because we do, do run out and these sales are while supplies last. I mean, yeah. we will not. And most items, at least, we will not. While supplies last. Yeah. You have twenty percent discount on your air conditioners. You have twenty percent discount on your solar system components. I thought that was interesting, and also on your motorcycles. Yeah. yeah. And paint. Christmas is coming. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas is five percent yeah. person down on all yeah. Delta and Peeler's faucets. So. What say, what deal do you think like people need to get there on Thursday and take advantage of so that they don't miss out on the opportunity? Tell us. <laughs> you you got to give us the scoop, well, right? We're pretty stocked up right now. Yeah. So yeah. Um, there is a... Uh, hmm. Which I think that generator usually runs out every we sale. Run out Generators usually run out, yeah. Up, we stocked up pretty yeah. good, so... Um, I, it's hard to say which one runs out. I mean, we have some of the 50% items, for example. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I know we have a few stoves that like will be 50% off. Uh, we have um, 
probably uh, some TVs that will be 40% off. Well, with that the TV took. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a plant. We, we, we have a appliance section. Um, yeah. and I have appliance yeah. section. So we have TVs, um, home appliances. <laughs> you can keep the flyer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but I want to see the TV. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So that's another fact that a lot of people don't know about us. We have, uh, we are now uh, full, full supply. I mean, we have. Yeah. We do have our appliance section. And the appliance section is actually a nice and air conditioned. We're hoping yeah. to attract women to come into the store also. Oh, yeah. right. oh. um, one oh. thing that I thought I would wanted to mention earlier is that uh, a lot of people are afraid of competition. And when I, we started, I used to be afraid of competition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I learned over the years that, uh, and I would say for the last 10 years, I have looked at it very different. I'm not afraid of competition. competition. I think as long as competition is uh, as long as it's uh, fair and legal, uh, then there, it's very healthy. It's very healthy. Yeah. And for Belmont Pond, what I want, so as we mentioned earlier, we we got there and we started in 89. Yeah. Uh, and it was just a few items. Yeah. Uh, Builders Hardware started in 1994. Mm -hmm. And they had a small supply in the beginning, mostly for their construction. Yeah. And so even when I got there in 2004, it was, Everybody who wanted to build a house would go to Belize City to get all their supplies. Yeah. And they would, in Belmont Pond, they would buy whatever they had forgotten to buy yeah. in Belize City. They would come and they would pick up a few fittings, a little this and that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So as we grew, but not only, we couldn't have done it alone, so, but Builders Hardware grew tremendously at the same time. Yeah. And so between the two of us, and then you have Gallery Services, another one. Uh, of course, there was a few other ones that started out but didn't make it. Mm -hmm. um, but now, we could, with the three of us, uh, you can get everything you need to build a house in Belmont Pond. You don't need to go to Belmont. So, if it wasn't for our competition, uh, then we would still we couldn't do it alone. So, yeah. so together, we, there's now a supply. Excellent. And then another thing, then eventually, uh, Caribbean Tire opened a shop there, and I'm like, oh man, they're they're selling some stuff that we do too. Yeah. This is gonna be bad. But I realized, you know what? It's not. The more businesses come into town, the better it is for the, the better it is for the because now people can stay at home and they can buy everything. Yeah. First, everybody need to go to Spanish Liga to buy their tires. Yeah. Their yeah. tires, and so then they would shop other things there. Now they can do it there, right so there they can. Fine. So really, if it's fair competition, it's really good for the community. But of course, mm -hmm. but of course, you know, I so like the way I like the way you 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 conclude with that because it is true. Rather than bashing your your, your competition, mm -hmm. it's actually healthy for each other. Mm -hmm. I always say everybody is everybody's asset. Mm -hmm. You know, so now Belmopan know that this big sale is coming up. It's going to be when? October 10th, 11th, and 12th. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Saturday. Friday, Saturday. And you can't miss it. Can't and miss Saturdays it. only until 1. So, right. so don't schedule to travel to Belmopan for the afternoon. Right. you got to get there in the morning. Don't miss the sale. And yeah. there are some really, really great prizes. John, I've picked out what you need to buy. You're going to buy the uh, trampoline. Yes. Oh. Right? <laughs> Which is $200 off, right? Yeah. yeah. There, there's one thing we forgot to mention. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some visitors coming from the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, so because we are so, we, we're like, we represent DeWalt, uh, we have some reps coming from the U.S. Uh, DeWalt reps will be at the sale uh, to be with us and Customers can ask some questions. Yeah. Nice. Um, there will be some promotional items that we give be given to customers that purchase Dewalt yeah. products. Um, so they'll be there, and we'll have a competition, yeah. a Dewalt competition, where contractors, anyone can come and see how, how good their skills are yeah. Um, yeah. in sawing, sawing wood, put, putting some clamps, yeah. drilling, even using the drill to a driver to put some screws in some wood. It'll be timed. So the one, with the person with the best time, yeah. the lowest time, will get a prize. So we also get wow. yeah. so everything there, uh, yeah. and that will be Friday and uh, Thursday and Friday only. Friday, that Friday, yeah. yeah, man. He's That's gonna be interesting. Yeah. He's to you watch guys give away a furnished house. I mean, lot. You're, you're giving away a lot of stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Excellent well, job, though. Excellent thank you job. for coming in and telling us all thank about you, it, and so congratulations much. on I, it, it's 30 years, right? Yeah. Since uh, you first opened, yeah, 31. Excellent. And uh, congratulations on being able to grow along with the community and giving back in this way as well. And uh, for our viewers, of course, the drill, the sander, and the grinder are giveaways. We hope you were paying attention. Uh -huh. We're going to be posting the questions in just a few, and uh, we'll see who gets those prizes. Yeah. Thank remember, you. Remember to follow us on Facebook. 
um, if you want to see the fire. Yeah. Um, no. Also, that we changed our email address this last week. Yeah. Um, so now it's at sales at bahbz.com. All right. So if you need any inquiries regarding the products yeah. or anything on the fire, mm -hmm. yeah. information, just sh feel free to shoot us an email. Right. Um, so about the fun. email, uh, if we just, for, for our customers, um, we actually had an, we had just changed our email last week mm -hmm. to that new one, uh, as Joseph mentioned, mm -hmm. and the following day, our email, our other email got hacked and crashed. Oh. And so we have lost everything, every contact, everything from yeah. that old one. So we know we probably have some customers that have written us, uh -oh. that they think they have written email and they're, say, they're thinking we don't respond. Yeah. Uh, we've been trying, we got with Google and trying to recover, but so far they have not been able to. Oh, yeah. wow. Uh, so please don't think that we don't <laughs> want to talk to you. Yeah. Uh, we really do, but please either call us yeah. or email us at the new email address. Uh, and we will definitely respond, but uh, oh, sorry if we have, if some of you haven't gotten uh, responses as you should They'll have. They'll go find you find on you October 10th, 11th, <laughs> and 12th. Ask the questions, <laughs> ask the questions. So what's the email Wait. again? Uh, sales, sales, S-A-L-E-S, mm -hmm. at B-A-H-B-Z mm -hmm. dot com. All right. Easy. Thank you for coming yes. in. Thank, thank, you, thank you for so telling much. us about the deals. Catherine, thank you for telling me this, telling us the story, the story. about uh, the move to Bamapan, and we appreciate it, and best of luck. Best of luck. Thank, thank you very much. much. We are going like to go that. ahead yeah. and take a break. When we come back, we'll be talking to the Rotary Club of Belize, Sunrise. So please, stay tuned.